While the tobacco South Florida pool company goes under, you might say, and the ripple effects are still being felt. They are. They left it up to our Larry Livingston, and he joins us now with an update. The Knox name was synonymous with the pool game for 30 years. Who knew? The state seemed to be very, very reputable. And here, everybody got screwed. Including the Knoxes. This is a letter from William and Donna Knox's lawyer. In it, he writes his clients are furious with Knox Pool's current owners, Victorine Enterprises and its operations manager, Scott Donaldson. He details how the couple sold the company in 2014, retired to Tennessee, and have had no dealings with the pool business since then. In January, Marianne Lojack and her husband shelled out more than $7,500 to Knox Pools for their pool remodel job. In March, the couple got an email saying Knox Pools was closed. I want the money back. So she filed suit against the Knoxes, the company, and its current managers. Another customer's lawsuit against the company is pending. One of Knox Pools' suppliers is owed more than 52 grand, and Knox Pools' landlord wants the company evicted. After our story aired, the Knox's lawyer sent this letter to Mary Ann and her husband explaining his clients are those landlords and haven't received a rent check from the current owners in months. My clients feel awful about your predicament and are very sorry for your financial loss. But he also writes that since his clients are only a previous owner of the business, they do not have any legal liability whatsoever. He called the claim frivolous and asked the Knoxes be dropped from the lawsuit. Marianne tells me after she and her husband spoke with their attorney, they've decided to drop the Knoxes from their complaint. Their case against the company and its current managers still stands. We tracked one of those partners, Henry Olaf, to this gated community in Fort Myers. No one answered when we called. So the legal fight continues to get their $7,500 back, but take a look at this. After our initial story aired, we got calls from a couple of pool companies wanting to make this right for Mary Ann and her husband. So we pass that information along to the couple, and now D&E Pools Lighthouse Point Incorporated tells us plans are in the works to redo the couple's pool for free. We cannot wait to see it when it's all finished, and of course we'll share that reveal with you. Okay, Laren, thanks a lot. Do you have a problem you want to leave to Laren? You can send an email to Laren at local10.com, and that's L-A-Y-R-O-N at local10.com.